Hello everyone, this is East, and welcome back to Fantasy Public Performance. So, I didn't get a video out last week because I was going to be rushing and um, I didn't feel like getting the video out in a rush. So, I gave myself another week to prepare. It didn't happen, so we're still rolling in with um, whatever we had last time, pretty much, because I've been lazy. Well, the better way to say it, I've been doing other stuff, but I like to just call it that I was being lazy. Um, so the strategy hasn't changed, it's still diversifying our strategy. We're rolling in with the, I'm gonna hit you harder than you can hit me. Uh, we're here at the Scar Devil Mansion now. There's Marissa sneaking in. And here is this person sleeping. That we can completely ignore, but we're gonna fight her anyway. Which I believe was you talked to her a couple of times. She was about to get stabbed apparently in a dream. And then, we're gonna come in, so... She has to stop us, but it doesn't happen because we're gonna smack her really goddamn hard. Basically. That's a basic premise of what's happening here. Alright, so I think you can see uh, Flandre in the uh, mansion and actually interact with her in this version of the game, not the previous one. The previous one, she just kind of runs through a hallway and then it's never seen from again, which I feel like was a intended portion of the game that was eventually dropped for whatever reason. But I think you can reach her. Don't know if it's now or don't know if it's later, but for all intents and purposes, I don't think I'm going to be cutting any portions out of this video at least, so that in case I miss something, someone can tell me. Uh, basically the general premise of that anyway. I do do a okay job of actually going around to grab everything. Um, that's hidden in chests and like looking through bookcases, which is the clearly boring part because uh, there's actually no text at all if um, you talk to a bookcase and nothing happens. Or you talk to a chest and nothing happens. This person welcomes us in. We had nothing to do with her, so we are got to go to the library. Even though she tells us to go see her afterwards. So we did go down the library, which is to the left, but we're going to go to the right. Which I don't believe can actually go in anywhere because I think all the theories stop you from going through. In my memory, what's this? Hi. Alright, well anyways, we're going to go to the library. Uh, I think it's Kokomon Denpachi. So, that's gonna be a thing. I'm pretty sure these people block you, anyway. Yeah, they, they block you. What they just said was that uh, unauthorized people should not be passing here. Uh, you can get random uh, battles in here. There's Marissa being super sneaky, but not very. I think you only actually look at the bookcase whenever um, there's this little, what's it, stand. There's a lot of books! Oh really now? I don't think there's any anything too special around here until you get down to the bottom part. Hi, how you doing? Apparently we're uh, getting away of her reading, so she's gonna attack us. Because that's what you do when people are reading. I believe her free puppets were the free nameless ones. From the first couple of games. Take that. Goodbye. That was super effective, I don't know why. Alright. As you can see, they're still not at the point where the pup is a style change, so. Um, not diversifying, uh, diversifying our strategy at this point is still okay. Alright, this should be that. Actually, I can't remember if Pachi is stronger. I'm pretty sure uh, Rimalia has um, star change puppets. Uh huh. She's telling us to go see the master of the mansion and come back to see her if we're still alive after that. Because obviously we aren't supposed to be living very long after a vampire, a meeting with a vampire normally. You know that would be in regular stories, wouldn't it now? The puppets are different from her magic. And since we're in here, we need to get kicked out now. Logic. Alright, well you're light, so goodbye. I'm gonna make you explode. You're also steel, so I could make you explode the other way too. But goodbye. Oh. Hmm. 
Well, goodbye. For real this time. Should have done that the first time. Alright. So does Steel Pot protect her from the other one. And here's Pachi, who was a nun, I believe, so. Do this. Still made a paper. Goodbye. Alright. Uh I can't remember you find puppets and share actually find puppets later. It's because we're in the newspaper. And we can heal, so that's a thing. Alright, I'm not going to catch stuff yet. I'll do that later, actually. I want to do the whole of the, um, mention right now without cutting once, basically. Actually, was, was Marissa say anything? Was she gone already? She's already gone. She's blocking this pop so you can't walk past Pachi, basically. Uh, we'll do any puppets that we have to run to, but that's about it. There's also a lot of people out here, so... Julie. That's a very standard name. I believe all the fairy mates in here just have fairies. Uh, you will explode from this because you are part light. Farewell. I can't actually remember how to get through this part because this is the maze part. So I might cut that at that point. You know, I can't actually remember where you see, um... Flandre, which is the main thing. Can't remember if you see her before this or after this part. Uh, I mean, I could have just gone back to review the footage, but that's no fun, is it now? That's basically try attack. Please don't freeze me. I got scared. I can't remember what that does. Uh, but we're gonna try and do this. Oh yeah, took off the um the status healing thing again. The end. Uh, I put back on the uh, item that your puppet comes with, which apparently increases its stats by a decent amount and makes them excessively good, because they're already a lot better than most of your um, standard puppets you can be getting. Uh, do I have the... do I have more of these? Ah, oh, that would be a slight issue. Okay, um... Oh, anyways, for now, I'm just gonna give you this. What do I have, actually? What are these? Um. Hmm, nothing much useful. Alright, continue. Hi, maid. Yeah, steel. I know you're part steel, I don't know you're part fire, but we're still gonna try and bring you up. Oh funny, of course. We flinched. And we shall now try and do that again. The general joke of this part at least- Oh wow, yeah, sure. Um, oh, you got burned. Perfect! Okay. I don't know what that was supposed to be, I don't know if that's kind of, kind of explosion move or not. I mean, I already had them down to one health with nothing left. Alrighty, the general joke of this part is that you'll end up back at the start. Uh, I actually don't know how to get through this part, which is gonna be interesting. Um, let's just run away. Another maid. The only good thing is that, uh, we can end up using these maids as, um, what do you call it, roadblocks, because... Uh, they only battle you once, you loop round and round in circles because the space in here is warped. Thanks to the, uh, you know, the lore of this mansion anyway, you make it larger so you have more space to claim, because obviously that's what makes your life fun, basically. I don't know what voice that was either, I just used whatever came to mind first. Alright, and for some reason that fury had a Japanese name. Please stop attacking me. Oh well, alright, well, we'll catch you and then we'll move along. Get tied up. And then we're gonna shrack you. And then we'll like to kindly ask you to move out of the way. Actually get into my PC, which is also a case. Alright, get in there. There's another fairy. I'm pretty sure you can heal before you actually get to, um, Sakuya and 
criminal AS, so we should be fine on that part. At least I think we're fine on that part. Especially relying on my memory of, um, how long ago has it been? Four? Four years? Five years? Since I last played this? A long time. Let's just say that. This was the first game I did on YouTube. So, that was a long time ago. I should have to play this part again recently, in the uh, first game, when I was trying to re- get- oh, get a new safe, uh, new clear save file. Alright, uh, so you, that, not this, this, light. What's this do? Makes you assistance. This is the tank one. Go with that. It actually doesn't change me at all, I think. And then we... Do we have any slime shot? Yeah, everything should be... Um, status inducing now. Uh, this is toxic... Basically toxic spice even though it's called poison trap. That would be nice to have, actually. What is this concentrated torrent? It's just like whirlpool. Alright, we'll go with that. Um, we still have on Seron that's just about up to 30. God damn it. Well, at least we don't have any. You have to catch every single member of the Scarlet Devil Mansion in this part, so. I said I wasn't gonna do any of this, but since we're coming through anyway. Oh, I think that lowers accuracy. Alright, players, still hit. That will be very helpful. Goodbye. I have 20 levels on you. If I don't one shot you, I'll be very sad. Alright. I don't even know how you can have intruders in this fucking mansion, but I feel like most of them get lost before anything happens. Alright, so. Oh wow, you're faster than me. What was that priority move? It's probably a priority move. Blow them all up. Once it gets to the point where I'm looping around and around, I'll probably um, cut and just work out to get through the spot at least. Uh, there's the thing. Yeah, this. That. I don't know if that's special or not, but I don't know if this means that we're going the right way either. Oh, wow, we nearly run to everyone. We just need what? Flandre herself, okay. I don't know if she's been moved, if there's any new areas, but... Uh, although... Oh yeah, Marin's outside, so... Yeah, it's just some um, flanger lifts. Uh, we can burn you, pot steel. Don't question the layout, just keep walking. Attack the fairy indiscriminately. Hey, there's a Bindu. Instead of putting just a regular old uh, Pokeball or Yin Yang Ball, if that's what you prefer, they give you a bin. And almost obviously he's the shirt ship because it's probably an item in this random bin in the middle of nowhere. Funny that. Alright, let's just blow you up as well. Probably should have brought some more healing items in with me, but... now eh, we should be good for a little bit more. Alright, you random bin. Of course you have something in you. Why wouldn't you have something in you? Alright, so now we just need to find the next part. No idea which way I'm going, but this feels like the right way because I passed Landry. Uh, this way. I may look like I know where I'm going, I don't. Full warning, I guess.
That would be really nice if you don't do that. Why the hell to crit me? Burn! Burn! God damn it! Oh wow, I got paralyzed. No! Okay, so attacked. That's a start. Alrighty then, um, do I have any healing items that will get rid of that that I can just use up casually? Alright, well, we'll go with that, and then we'll just pop uh, one of these. I should have probably used my weaker stuff first. Uh, just way. That way. Bye. Uh, this way. Mm, I just went exactly to the right to where I was just a little while ago, okay? This was always fun. Hi, that's another maid we haven't fought yet. That's a good start, I guess. There's Osakia. Goodbye. New skill. Do I actually look at it right now? I actually probably should start looking at them right away. Why than just leaving them forever? Uh, what I get? Ooh, sound attack. Got two sound attacks. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Not too sure what that does, but it sounds interesting. Oh boy! Alright, we're still lost. Uh, well apparently she saw a uh, Fondre boss. Wait, can we actually get to her room now? Alright, this could be interesting. If we can actually reach her room, that's completely new. Uh, I think I can see something to the right there. That's not a maid. Alright, let's try to go this way towards Plunger. Oh. Alright, didn't... Yeah, you see her past there. I think that was still probably the old one. Okay, we actually go in. We can't. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. We're not allowed to go any further, she says. Even though we came back from the other side. Which I'm presuming was the side she's trying to block us from. Don't worry about it. It makes sense. And we'll just burn you down, and then we'll be good to go. Alright. Alright, so we're slowly reaching the point where I may as well cut and just work out where the hell I am. Uh, we'll just take it out of the corner and just see where the hell I am first. Uh, uh, hmm. I can leech Steve. Interesting. Actually... Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go back around. Wait, that, is that area just for Blanche's room? Huh. Weird. Weird. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna cut here, I guess, and just try and work out where I am. Okay, so we're finally getting somewhere again. Uh, we ran straight into a maid already. Um, I looked up a map. Don't worry about it. I may have had to look up a map, but this last bit seems pretty straightforward. Let me just move all my windows around so I can actually see the map. Alright, so... Not the... Actually, he did. It's not only made this way. Fight her as well. Uh, but this last part looks incredibly straightforward, so it should just be pretty much a straight run. I'm just gonna grab a couple of items on the sides. Uh, and then we'll be good to go. I said that a couple of times this time already. Uh, gonna come back to bite me.
I'm actually trying to remember how to do the next part after that, where you have to uh, work out which one to go through, or which door to go through. Let's actually stay on this map, let me just click on, can I click on this? Uh -huh. this is... Alright, uh, well anyways. Alright, grab this. Turn around. Oh, I actually need that. Oh, actually, I don't need that. I need the other thing. I need the tea. While I was running around though, I did actually manage to get um, a Fondre doll, which was great. And I also sort of go back into her room. I just start um, going towards her room again. I got right in front of it, and then the door's still locked, so I guess that's not happening. But, in my case, just gonna grab this last thing, skill card here. And then we'll be pretty much in the next part of the puzzle, which may or may not annoy me to all end again. Pipe. And pipe. Bomb you out. And skill card 34. Alright, so it should be a straight run down this way, hopefully. Actually, do I have a uh, repel? That would be much appreciated by the repel. Was it in this section or was it in the next section? I don't think I have any. Well, anyways. Uh, let's see. Go down the end here and then just... Please tell me I'm the right... I am the right spot. Good. Okay. I recognize where I am on the map. That's a good start. Alright then, then... Alright, that goes past in this part. Okay, we're good. We are definitely good at this point. Alright, so next part, we need to do this stupid puzzle. Um, do we just go straight through the middle? I actually can't remember. On the screenshot, the person's going through the middle, so I'm gonna go through the middle one. How's this puzzle work again? If I go through this middle, do I just need to keep going for a second? What do I go like this? No? Okay. Well, I imagine it's all better going for this first one, so I guess it's the, um, this one then. That's the only way it makes sense, right? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I feel like it's the middle one. I don't know why, but Rip. All right. Uh, middle, right, left. I think it's got something to do with the numbers of uh, all the number of plants here. Wait, what's the first one? It's... 4. Alright, oh, 495 years. Right. Right. I got you. I got you. Alright, where's this part? Of course. Uh, where's this part? This, this is past the maze part, at least. Hi, maid. How are you doing? Why do you want to throw knives now? Unfortunately, you are not going to throw any knives at my head. You are going to explode and disappear. Goodbye. Right. Oh, great. The next one over. Of course it is. At least there's a decency to make the um, other dead end shorter than this one so you can actually see them all before you have to run down all the way through another one and go all the way back. There's some okay-ish design when you want to make annoying maps like this but still make them bearable. Alright, so that's puts us, I think, in front of Sakuya, in my memory, somewhere eventually. Uh, that. And then... Okay, so we should be... This person. She's carrying a knife casually with a T-set. 
And we don't have an appointment, so we're getting kicked out, you know. Uh, essentially, her monster made an appointment with us. Kind of. Alright, well, we're gonna make you explode. That got blocked. And then... Oh, speed type. Okay, I'm presuming that's priority, because that was really fast. And we're gonna make you explode. I think you're still past steel no matter what you do, so... Goodbye. And you! Well, you, you will explode really fast. Of course. Alright, well... We're still gonna make you explode, you're probably in jaw, so... Of course you do! Why wouldn't you? Fucking sturdy! And I got paralyzed. Alright, well, we're going back into that room to sleep again. I don't know if you actually lead off someone else. Hey, <laughs> you got told to come here? And she disappears. Okay then. Now we're gonna barge into her emulator room, room here. She's gonna pop it on her desk. Oh yeah, she heals us too. And then she's gonna have a fight with us for us. Basically, uh, killing boredom. That's basically what you get out of her anyway. Sakura, alright, so it's actually- oh, power time. Uh, it's actually a good thing we kept Clumpy's up here. We're gonna blow you the hell up. One. Flying Trash speed. Uh, do you keep... Mmm, does this work? I finish it. Are you part light? You are part light. Goodbye. And alright, one more. Alright. Why are you called Scarlet Armature? Uh, what can you be? You're either Dark Wind or something else. I'm well, gonna try this. Oh, you're yeah. right. Oh, hey, you actually do damage. I do more damage. Goodbye. Yeah, this is the reason I need to actually start um, getting my other puppets up to scratch. Because the enemy is actually somewhat capable of fighting you at this point. No matter how much level difference is for some reason. <laughs> yes, you're just killing time. And we should go towards the Yokai Mountain next. Even though, um... Pokemon told us to go back to her, so we're gonna do that now. Uh, let's just pop that, heal, go back out. We can go through the front door now, which is very convenient. Um, through this way. And then we just loop back around to a Kawakuma down the library. But she's supposed to tell us about Yorma books, which is not part of the previous game, which is why this stuff is all new. Alrighty, alright, loop through, loop here. Why do they have to be at the bottom where it's really hard to freaking get to? Alright, you. We got a book. Cool. Oh, well, she just gave us a book and didn't say anything about it. Alrighty then. Okay, so that was the whole of Scarlet Devil Mansion. The video is going to be longer than the usual ones because I didn't bother cutting as much as I normally do, or I won't either way, um, even when I go to edit it properly. But, uh, anyways, uh, next time we'll go up towards the, um, Kappa Village, towards the Yokai Mountain, and do that part. That part, I believe, is, um, the same. And then we'll have the, uh, surf boat after that, so we can start surfing everywhere in that. Might take up another video, or I might do that on my own and maybe upload something else during that time in case I take way too long exploring and I can't get back to the main story. <laughs> that might happen. Wouldn't be surprised. Or maybe there's something interesting out there that I can uh, get something for. Otherwise, that's a lot of running around and not much actual stuff happening. So, anyways, that'll be it for this episode of Fantasy Puppet Performance. If you want to follow along with the rest of the series, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time.